Light Sworn cards bring some of the craziest innovation for this Kong's Cards tournament. Oh, you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. Oh wow, Dark Man, all oh, that's a that's a name that takes me back for dueling book here. So this is going to be some of the adventures of the 60 card Light Sworn pile that we had against. Wow, is that Snake Eyes Fire King across the table? That's People think that's going to be the best meta post legacy on new ban list, right? Well, let's find out. All right, we're going to go ahead and Lubellion pitch. Go ahead and grab a Magna Hut here. Easy stuff. All right, we're going to go ahead and Allure. We're going to go ahead and goodbye, Punishment Dragon. We're going to go, go ahead and slam down the Pot of Desires. We do want to get the filtering here to deck thin and draw. All right, and we got the Imseti. Delicious. So we do get Ash. That's fine. All right, we're going to go ahead and Magna Hut. Banish the Imseti. All right, go ahead. Lubellion. And actually... This is actually really cool. So we are playing Darkest Diabolsis in here, which, hey, guess what? We get to go ahead and bring this thing on out here since we tributed a dark. All right, there's the brand to regain. Down comes our little horse, and we are off to the races. You do see the mill there, Minerva time. Go ahead, special summon up our two friends. All right, go ahead, Mega Mega. Go ahead and ping a card from the opponent's hand. Go ahead and banish four Light Swords to mill four. And we're going to go ahead and make the Zombie Vampire. Oh, boy, another mill four. Classic, and we get a free save for it out of that. Go ahead and pick another card from the opponent's hand, save for it on into a Levy in here. Oh boy, guess what? We're gonna get another ping here in a second. Tuck back the dragon, go ahead and banish. Drive down the Levy near, shave off the last card, and go ahead and make Rom. Hey, guess what? We have the dragon ravine now. Now we can go down the subline of play. All right, pitch the dragon. Oh, is, is that the Samsara dragon? Go ahead and re grab back our punishment friend. Go ahead and grab back the free Levy in here. And banish, get a free Magna Hut back. Yay, we did it. And then just end on Sphere's Punishment. Easy peasy. And our opponent's hitting that concede button. They're not breaking that. Like, we literally took everything away from them. That's what you do here. And hey, we opened up Shayrin. Our opponent opened up Solemn Judgment Temple. I mean, this is going to be standard Snake Eyes combo here. Or standard Fire King combo. Pop that good card. Go ahead and special. All right, go ahead and pop the Ponyx and set. Wow, Ponyx back to hand. That's rough, but hey, you know what? They have a Judgment and an Ash. Like, that's good enough, right? Typically, <laughs> just kidding. All right, Shea Ren, go ahead and send. Go ahead and get the Mills, Ooh, that Punishment Dragon. It's going to be the theme of a lot of these videos here. The Chaos Angel is going to get Judgmented, and well, it is Thunder Time. Go ahead and bring on up the Dragon Dark Mill 2. Go ahead and make the Colossus there. We're going to go ahead and get Ashed. We're like, all right, Imseti, and we're done. That's it. That's The reason why I showed this one as the first game was the power showcasing against fire is so absurd. But this is, this is actually where the real showcase of this actually comes in. So this is actually against Labyrinth, of all things. You wouldn't think that this would be such an interesting matchup, but it is. Imseti Fire, go ahead and grab a King Sarcophagus here. So, one one interesting thing I want to point out about this matchup. So the opponent actually is going to hold this Nibiru for quite some time. I'm not really sure if they, they knew what exactly the combo lines were going to be that they're playing against here, but that's one thing I want to point out here is you can make the argument that maybe they held it too long, but they weren't really... I, I kind of would want to see where this can go. Starly Shave for it, go ahead and drop that. Grab a free Lubellion, absolutely. All right, there is the Lubellion. Go ahead and grab a Magna Hut. Sure, Magna Hut, go ahead. Banish the Levian here. Oh, okay, we're losing our value along the way. That's fine. All right, we're going to go ahead and brand and regain. Slam down the Desires. And hey, look, we got our two cards. All right, King Sarcophagus, go ahead and pitch a mill. Hoppy Lubellion, there's the Zombie Vampire. Get our free mill four here. <laughs> there's that Punishment Dragon again. Raiden, go ahead, mill up. Go ahead and make the Athena here, and we get our free Felis. There's the Levianir popping on back into our hand. Ah, yes. Go ahead, scoot him on back. Link on into the Dark to revive our opponent's Torby. Go ahead and banish two to mill two. Free little value there. Now you see the Apo for three coming down. They're going to attempt a Nibiru. We're going to go ahead and resolve the Levianir. Just get that on out of their hand. We don't want to deal with that. Crimson Gaia. Go ahead and add our free Extender. Extender drop. Hey, look, it gets to add this back. And now we get another card from the opponent's hand. And then we get to slam down the Hope Harbinger Pass. This doesn't look like a strong field, but it really is, because now this is going to pop back, trigger that. They have to make the Doomsday Star to pop over this, which will get the free spot removal on the Hope Harbinger. But this game is kind of spinning out of control very quickly. You do see the brand to regain Tuck back there. We did draw another King Sark. Hey, look, free value time. 
All right, they're gonna attempt a labyrinth. Kind of stinks that they actually did draw this, but sometimes it just be how it is. They actually popped the King Sark, but yeah, there's there's no real recovering out of that. Like, whew, there is the the fact that this deck is making these power plays feels so insane to me. Like, cool stuff. Now we shove on into game two here. Pun's gonna go ahead and pitch. Hey, look, transaction rollback. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and unchain pop that. Go ahead and special transaction banish. Get our free Ariana here. There's the Chandelure, free volume. Hi, Torby, how are you? Go ahead and pitch. Go ahead and set up the Unchained, and we do have the Welcome Labyrinth up and running. So we've got everything that we want here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make the Unchained Link Monster. Go ahead and grab back the Shivara and pass. So our, I mean, wow, we have King Sark, we have Raiden, you have the Chaos Base, the Foolish Burrow, and the Tack Talents. This is literally like the golden hand of what you would want. All right, there's the King Sark being added, pitching the Chaos Base, we drew an allure. They're gonna go ahead and actually pitch the, or they're gonna hit the King Sark here. I do gotta give some credit here. Actually revealing that you have to grab the King's Sarcophagus, basically broadcast your opponent into being tricked into thinking that they have to go after that when you have the second in your hand. That's actually really brilliant. All right, Chandelure being added back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and tack talents to draw. Hey, look, an allure target. We have one down, what do we care? Charge, go ahead and grab the Dragon of Light Sworn here. Go ahead and slam down the allure, draw two. All right, brand new regained. So now it is mill time. All right, you're gonna see our dragon coming back to our hand from the safer. Brand new regained, going ahead and tucking back the good card. All right, foolish burial time. It's time to start combo. There's the wolf. Now we can make either the Minerva or the Synchro, but we're going the Synchro route. All right, go ahead and mill two. Trigger, trigger. Hey, look, up come our friends. We can just make a Minerva right there. Isn't that so cool? Go ahead and mill three. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and banish three to mill three. All right, there's the Felis special summoning itself. There's the Punishment Dragon, just so you know. SP Little Line's gonna go ahead and banish the face down. We can not attack directly this turn, so keep that in mind. All right, that's a very big thing now that we've uh, we've done our sublines. There's the Apple for two. King Sark coming down, pitching off the Hoppy. Revive, go ahead and make the zombie vampire. Go ahead and mill four from both of us. Go ahead and get our little dragon. Mill off our friend, the Chaos Emperor. Go ahead and trigger the thunder. Get the thunder monster, make the IP. Go ahead and trigger, grab the free dragon hawk from the deck so we can have the Colossus up and running there on the side. Now, this is why we love DB. So Punishment Dragon here says, hey, you can pay a thousand life points shuffle from both players' graveyards back into the decks, and I believe the Banished Pile as well. Everything that's not a non-Light Swarm monster. And the way you summon this, you have to have four Banished Light Swarm monsters with different names. That's why this boss monster is such an incredibly strong card. And as you see here, the loops that we're resetting those resources here. Now that we've established this very huge board to basically start taking away our opponent's resources. And continue with the tuckbacks here. Man, this is so crazy to actually see the regeneration. So yeah, we're left with four and five down. All right, go ahead and IP warp into the SP. Go ahead and attempt to banish. They're gonna go ahead and chain. They're gonna chain as well, sure. Go ahead and get their lab monster. All right, they're gonna swing on into that. Free negate all day long. All right, special summon the defense mode and set. All right, they're gonna go ahead and attempt to rotate. We're gonna go ahead and punishment dragon chain here. We wanna reset the Apo, the IP, the Shavara will go back. Same thing with the Chandelure and the big welcome. They do get the field spell here to make the Typhoon. We're gonna go ahead and attempt to chain. All right, go ahead and do our thing. Brandon regain, tuck that back so it doesn't come back. Back comes the SP. Now we get the zombie vampire the second time. You do see the safe fort coming off of that. This is so good. Like actually, so crazy. Hey, look for your Armageddon. I'll, I'll take that back, thank you. All right, brand new regain, tuck back. All right, go ahead and grab a Lubellion off of that, so good. All right, grab our free Magna Hut. All righty, well, Magna Hut banish, special. And now it's Link time, AKA Synchro. I'm gonna go ahead and Labyrinth, we're gonna go ahead and Punishment Dragon again. Go ahead and tuck on back those good cards. <laughs> All right, who doesn't love the cycle? of pinging your opponent's cards out of the graveyard as they're just losing all of these pieces. All right, sure, we lose the Chaos Angel, no problem. SP, go ahead and banish away. And that is all they wrote. Holy crap, this card is actually kind of insane. I hope you enjoyed this showcase. This was actually very fun to watch. So please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back in the day, guys. Hey, 
patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.